Hey Exiles, how we doing? Uh, we are back playing some more Saga of Survival. How we doing guys? Okay, so this is going to be another one of those videos where I show you some info about the current challenges that we have or the events that we commonly have. And um, a lot of you guys actually enjoy um, this little mini series that I've sort of put together. Now, this is just for the pure purpose of getting the right information out to you guys and giving you all the available info that you guys need that will help you guys um, prepare yourselves for each and every challenge. So we've already gone through pretty much all the other challenges and we've left the big one for last. And this is regarding the XP challenge. So we have all the info available and what we need for you guys to get better at the XP challenge and to help you guys, um, or your clan, I should say, to reach bigger heights so you guys can achieve um, better loot and get uh, those legendary loot or get very, very close to it. So with that being said, we're gonna get right into it, but, be but uh, before we do, make sure you guys hit that like button for me. That really helps me um, out so much. Um, gets me up the recommended page and it gets a lot more of you guys to see my videos so it's a win-win so help for the community and help myself so at least that way um, all of my videos are coming out well and truly but also if you guys are new make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell comment down below guys let me know what you think of the video anyway with that out of the way we shall get right into it now. So what you're gonna see is the first image, and this is regarding the workstations. Now, the workstations are a uh, your biggest aid when it comes to XP challenge. So you guys wanna um, sort of look at what you need so you guys can um, pretty much increase your XP to, well, in the quickest manner of time. Now. <clears throat> what I showed a few videos back was one, we focused on one workstation and that happened to be the um, the craftsman table. Sorry, the car carpenter's bench, what am I saying? Sorry. So we focused on the carpenter's bench first and what I essentially did was I went right through it and pretty much gave you all XP um, increments, okay? Now, for reasons unknown, they are... Um, question mark for the most part. So what I can do is I'll link uh, one of my, uh, that specific video in the description box so you guys can actually see um, the, that exact video. So you can actually see from start to finish what it will cost, what it will take for you guys to uh, redo the carpenter's bench over and over to get you guys enough XP for the challenges there, okay? So I'll go ahead and do that for you guys. But for everything else in between, um, you'll find only just the XP amount in increments so you guys are aware of what um, levels or how much XP that you guys are going to get um, for each level that you invest in. So unfortunately they don't show the, uh, the resources required and that's where my video comes in with the Carpenter's Bench that will show you that specifically. So go ahead and check that out. Um, but it also shows you not only the levels of the workstations, but each, every in each um, known resource that's available um, and their respected XP increments as well. So go ahead and check that out, guys. Um, now, again, the same person is Miss Monochrome who has supplied the goods and the necessary details. So she is an active moderator on the Discord and actually through the um, the in-game chat as well. So um, you be actually, I found the XP challenge info through the in-game chat as well. So I didn't actually find it on the Discord like I found the others. So I'm not too sure what happened there, but they are there. So you guys can actually view this if you don't want to see or sort of go off my video. Use this as reference for now as guide, but I'll direct you guys in game. Oh, not bad. Um, with that information there. So do check it out. Um, so basically you just want to go ahead and just um, jump into the um, into the chat icon and at least that way you guys will find out all the info. All right, so go ahead and do that. Anyway, um, with that out of the way, now I think it just this serves a really good helpful tool for everyone just so you guys can get a better understanding on uh, you know where to put your resources to. So basically a lot of people would grind out the whole week 
just getting raw resources and i'm talking about specifically the top teams okay so the top clans uh if you will now they know exactly what they need they will go out and farm everything required um, and only once the xp challenge rolls around they will basically go into um uh, into crafting mode and they will build up one workstation or multiple workstations whatever it may be and they will specifically do that over and over again and i again i reference this through my uh, carpenter's bench uh video and that will give you all the information and all the um um, all the information that I can sort of provide to you guys and what sort of makes sense. Um, so yeah, like I said, best check that out. So at least that way you guys can stay well informed. Okay. So, but like I said, at least this gives you some sort of positive notion on what to sort of invest in. Some of these uh, workstations go up to over 9,000 points, which is quite substantial. Um, the Carpenter's table for reference only gets you about um, eight levels. Some of them go up to nine, even 10 levels, and there's more XP to be had, okay? So um, now, unfortunately, I'm not too sure who has actually, or if anyone's gone to the actual trouble and making, you know, a table with every single um, piece of workstation requirement to upgrade. That, unfortunately, is not known. Now, I don't know if Miss Monochrome will actually do something like that. Um, that'd be very, very helpful for everyone. But then again, it may defeat the purpose in actually um, uh, running the XP challenge to a degree. So everyone will start farming resources just to, you know, um, uh, upgrade, break down, upgrade and break down one specific workstation. So, you know, it's, it's a catch-22. Now, I'm not too sure if that's going to happen, but... You know, that remains to be seen. But for now, this is the best that we've got. So as I said, guys, if you need to pause the video at any time, just go ahead and do it. Um, I'm only just in the dark woods. I mean, if you guys haven't known already, and I'm just farming for some wood mainly, but also I'm just getting some um, basic bits and pieces for myself as well. So anyway, so that basically sort of caps off the table number one. Now, table number two, uh, I'm just going to flip that over to, on my screen here. Okay, so this is more specific to every single item that you can craft uh, in the game and also some of the um, enemies that drop certain goods and items. So um, if you look at the, the first column there, you've got all the hunting. Um, so basically what um, uh, enemy will um, you know, uh, give you what XP during this challenge. Then the gathering, which, you know, starts from stone all the way to elm log. Your building materials, weapons, miscellaneous armor, scrolls, um, and the chests, which is which I find interesting. So all the known chests there, they're, um, you know, respected EXP. Now, if, you're, if you guys want to go in and farm resources just for, um, uh, you know, for the uh, sake of doing chess, you know, that's up to you. What a lot of guys do or a lot of players tend to do is just um, keep, and what I'm doing at the moment is hanging on to all of my uh, scrolls because they give you 100 EXP off the bat. So I guess that's, a, that's another way of doing it as well. But depending on how you guys sort of want to do it, how you want to play it, that's all up to you guys. But like I said, it's a very, like, look, I find this a very definitive guide. Now, unfortunately, there are some, um, uh, you know, bits and pieces that are not, uh, you know, uh, catalogued, you know, to a point where you've got, you know, all the AXP values or anything like that. Unfortunately, they're not known. They're um, pretty much uh, items that you find that w will not have the, um, any uh, value to it because A, it hasn't been discovered yet. B, why did I pick that up? Um, just going to go ahead and destroy that. Sorry, guys. Let's just split that again. And, ah, oh, I still left that here. Okay, that's fine. Uh, actually, what do I do have here? Sorry. You guys might not be seeing what I'm looking at here at the moment because I, I may still have this up. Um, I'm just sort of checking out what I have here. Okay. 
I might actually dump some of these in a chest. Anyway, sorry for what I was saying before. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so what my guys do and what I do as well is I just um, farm scrolls, hang on to them, um, and that basically gives me all of my um, basic EXP off the bat, and at least this way I know um, that if I've got you know a certain amount of chests that I filled up, usually anywhere between, say, about maybe two, more than two, that will give you um, a lot more, uh, you know, just a bit of a jump start. Um, and I, I've been able to get enough scrolls that I've met minimum requirement as well. So I know that sounds silly, the amount of um, scrolls that, you know, one can basically hoard, but it works. So why not use it? Um, you know, it only just costs you an inventory slot. So depending on how you guys want to do it, that's entirely up to you. But anyway, I thought, uh, throwing this up today was something interesting of value as well and it sort of completes everything else um, that I sort of wanted to go through with you guys regarding all challenges and hopefully this sort of helped um, you guys in some way or capacity or anything like that so like I said let me know about that in the comment section down below and if you did enjoy make sure you hit that like button guys that's all I really ask for if you guys want to go ahead and subscribe and hit the notification bell and all that sort of good stuff but basically what I'm doing here with my guy is um, we're just going to finish off the zone. I do need the wood because I do need to burn a lot of charcoal. Um, now that I've got a bit of um, iron ore built up, I can sort of start reprocessing that and get some um, iron bars created. And hopefully re you know, uh, reshape my um, base and that's probably going to be the next part as well. Um, that's something that I've wanting, been wanting to do for the longest time, but I've just been super lazy in doing it. Um, you guys have been, who, who've been watching me for the longest time would know that already. So you guys don't need to tell me, but basically I'm thinking of ways as well in trying to, um, have a more, um, secured base as well. And this is more or less just going to future proof for future rating that I'm potentially reconsidering to get back into. I know it was a bit of a flop to begin with for myself and I only just showed you guys that only just for the few, uh, pure purpose of science and for you guys knowing full well what could happen if you guys don't defend yourselves and if you want to check that out there are some pretty good videos that I've done in the last couple of weeks about that anyway but go ahead and check all that out. Anyway I'm going to leave it here with you guys so um, I'm just going to finish off the, the zone anyway so I'm not going to you know make you guys sit and watch that. But yeah, like I said, full props again to Miss Monochrome for collating all that information and anyone else actually who has helped her construct this guide and put that all together because I'm sure it's not just her. I'm sure there's a collective of people doing that and helping um, and helping her out. She's the one that's just popped it on um, on the socials here to get it out there so everyone can have a look. Um, but for everyone else, yeah, do give her props. Anyway, guys, take it easy and I will catch you next time.